All right, <clears throat> I finally got this uh, exchange. This is going to be, I guess, my part three for the quarter inch torque wrench. Again, I decided to stay with the one made in China. Um, luckily, this time I found two that were made in Taiwan, and there is quite a difference in those. So let me go through this one. This is the replacement I got. And this is how you get it. As you can see, this still has the shrink wrap somewhat. Um, and then the usual. I forgot to mention that there are some conversions here. One foot pound equals uh, uh, whatever it is. And one, what is that? MK kilogram? Um, I'm not sure what the MK or the M means, but one meter meter kilogram I think um, and then one nanometer uh, and then you get the uh, conversion table there but that's about all you get on this particular uh, quarter inch and well this is the same there's no other information in here same as the last one so we'll leave that alone uh, let me take this out. I already checked it when I was there. It's all dirty. That's how it came. But at least this one doesn't look like it has a big old scratch where I can't see the numbers there. Let me clean this. Um, it has a little. It has a little more grease on this end here. So aside from that. And the fact that it's kind of got a lot of more fingerprints on it, um, it seems fine. Um, you can't really check them unless you take them out of the uh, shrink wrap when you're at the store, but I don't do that. I just went ahead and took it. So looking back again, these are the settings. Let me see if this will catch it. Um, I think I had a hard time getting it last time, but there's a reason I'm showing you this. And basically that is the, uh, when you look at these numbers on the one from Taiwan, they're actually all individual individually numbered. And I noticed that the head on the one from Taiwan, it's actually a lot bigger than this one. And... It just didn't look as nice as this one for some reason. Uh, luckily, like I said, I found two that were made in Taiwan, but they were returned. I will post the pictures along with this video so you can see the difference between these and the ones made in Taiwan. For some reason, the one in, uh, made in Taiwan for the quarters, they just don't look that great. Um, and the, those two were returned, so that's why I decided to stay, stay with this one. But the other one uh, did have that scratch here, so this one doesn't, so it's easier to read because it was going on the numbers. But um, so let me try and do the same uh, very unscientific test here. So we'll just go with 20 inch pounds and see what it does. And here's my test nut and bolt. And of course, I don't have my socket. Um, let me get my number 10 socket. Um, all right. So there is my 10 socket. Put that in here. I'll test it out. Works that way. Works that way. All right. And as you can see, these are loose. So let's go ahead and try this. See if it sounds any different since the other one didn't have much of a sound. There it goes. So I already hit it. It started tilting on there. So there's no 
actual clicking. You may hear it on the. You may hear me touching it on the uh, camera, but there's no actual clicking uh, from when you turn it until it, it just moves here, just like the other one. So you gotta be very careful when you're doing this. As you can see, I'm already moving, so that means I'm already there. So let's go ahead and take it up just a little more to 35. So that's the next number up. I'll try that again. I'm not going to go too high because I almost uh, stripped the uh, threads on this uh, bolt. So I'm just going to keep it light just to kind of get an idea of what this sounds like. If I can get it right. Alright, let's watch that. It's already there. So I already went past it because I actually did go a little farther from the last time. Alright. Let's go up to 50. There we go. 50 inch pounds. So obviously the higher I go, the quicker it's going to tilt on here because it's already tight. And you can hear a little more when when you go a little higher. So you just really got to go slow on these uh, smaller ones. So, But it seems to work. So you can see it's definitely touching here and it's a little louder. Not necessarily clicking, it's just louder when I... Well, I guess it might be a little clicking, but it seems like uh, the noise is from when you touch it there. Not necessarily a click per se. But... Alright, I'll go one more just to kind of... See if he makes a little more noise, and that's going to be the next one, 65. There we go. Now let's see how that sounds. So this, uh, it's a little better than the last one, too. Can you hear it a little more? It doesn't sound like an actual click but it's a little more noticeable so that's the quarter uh, inch uh, torque wrench from Harbor Freight um, as you can see it's identical to the other one very similar but the head is definitely smaller and I, I'll go ahead and include those pictures from the one that's made in Taiwan it does the one from Taiwan does not say made in Taiwan here either and it was missing both of them were missing this tiny clip so I was able to push and pull this piece here, or this uh, rivet, whatever it is. Um, so far, it looks like it's working. Um, there is no definition on the actual instructions as to these centimeter kilo. For some reason, I want to say kilopascals, but I'm not sure if that's correct since it's KPS. And then centimeters, kilograms, maybe? Uh, if you do know that, please go ahead and make a, post a, a message below uh, the video. Um, the torque ratings here are in inches, as usual. So these numbers are actually a little different from the other one, and that's why I'm covering this up, because I did not know that until I saw and took the pictures of the other one. Um, everything else is fine. Um, I actually like it. It seems pretty uh, decent, to be honest. Even though this one's made in China, but so far it seems to do okay. Oh, one more thing: the uh, screws are still coming through, just a little less on this one. It seems so. I don't know maybe that's how they all are, or. I just happen to grab the ones that have them. I don't know. But you can make a comment below and if yours has it, then, you know, they all have it. I don't know. Um, not much else to say about this one. 
and I don't have another one to actually compare this settings with so uh, another observation I made is that the 3 eighths are also made in China and the half is I think uh, let me see I want to say the half is made in Taiwan and where's it hang on so the half or three I forgot let me see here real quick I think this was the three eight but I could be wrong this is no this is the uh, three eight so I believe All right, yeah, um, the new ones, the 3 eighths actually say made in China, but this 3 eight is made in Taiwan. Let me see if I can show it to you. I know I did that before, but I just wanted to make a note because I did look at the uh, 3 eighths uh, this time around too, and they're all made in China. This one's actually Taiwan, and it's been pretty good actually. So uh, this is a half, and as you can see, that's... It's not going to fit on the 3 8 because obviously it's too big, but, you know, I think I can kind of show you the difference on the other one. Um, if you look at the, uh, well, no, these are kind of similar, actually. Anyways, I'll just post the pictures of the uh, one that's, other one that's made in um, Taiwan. This one has Torx, this one has Phillips screws. The other one had Phillips screws too, but um, like I said, they were both return, actually used and returned, so I didn't want to take those, so I just kept this one. But the exchange was not a big deal. Everything was fine, so I'm just gonna keep this one and use that. Um, all right, that's it for now.